Good morning on this Tuesday, January 2nd. I am working from home today. Uh, I'm working offline right now because for some reason my VPN won't work. This goes back to the same problems I was having last week um, when we installed the new wireless router. My VPN, I was trying to connect that one night and I couldn't, I just couldn't get on. And finally, like an hour after trying, I was able to finally get on. Well, this morning I logged on, 7.30 this morning, got right on my VPN, was going about my business, doing all my little emails, all that good stuff. And about 9 o'clock, the computer wanted to reboot. I was like, okay. So I rebooted. Now my computer was off since last week, so it's not like it was on the whole week and I hadn't rebooted it already because it had already been turned off. So <clears throat> I did my, my forced reboot this morning for, you know, security patches and all that. And ever since I got back up from the reboot, I have not been able to connect, which is so frustrating. Um, it's about 10 o'clock right now. I'm going to have to jump in the shower at lunch and run into work. Now, because it's the middle of the day, actually getting to work is going to take me like 15 minutes. It's really, it's literally, it's only like 13 miles from my house. It usually takes me closer to half an hour in the morning because of traffic and stuff. And I stay off the highway. There's two ways to get to my work, back roads and highway. I think as probably anyone has that, I would assume, unless you're in a really, really rural area. Anyhow, um, if I take the highway, not during rush hour, it only takes me like 15 minutes to get there. And then if I take the back roads, it's pretty much 25 minutes regardless in the back roads. It could be as low as like 20 or as high as 30, depending on like traffic and stuff, what time I'm going in in the morning, what time I'm getting home in the afternoon. Um, there's one stoplight going through this once the one little town that I have to go through that is just so painful. Like the light turns green for like, I don't know, like 15 seconds, literally like three cars get through it and it's all the time all the time it's like 15 seconds because the crossroad gets like 30 seconds and because the, the crossroad gets more traffic anyhow it's painful uh my morning commute's usually not too bad unless i'm going in right around the time that school buses are going in because i will like cross where the school buses are and stuff and that slows me down anyhow long story short I'm probably going to have to spend half my day working from home and half my day working in the office. I just rebooted again in hopes that I will be able to connect, but I'm not believing that that's going to happen. So I'm working on this offline thing. I have this documentation thing that I have to write up uh, for this training class that I've been going to every like six weeks. So I'm working on that while I'm trying to reboot or while I'm trying to uh, connect to the VPN. So I'm not just sitting here doing nothing but I'm not being as productive as I probably could be if I was connected. And I'm probably over-exaggerating. I don't get that many emails. Um, and being that this is the first day that a lot of people are back to work, I can't imagine that there's going to be that much going on that I need to respond to. My biggest problem is I'm trying to get uh, building access for somebody. And um, I can't do that without internet so or without email. Anyhow, good morning. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> my computer's coming up now, so I'm going to go ahead and try to reconnect, get back to working on my document, and if I can't get connected, I'll just drive into work at lunch. I really wasn't looking forward to that, but if that's what it's got to be, it's got to be. So, I will see you guys later. I literally spent three hours trying to connect. Three entire hours. So now I'm going into work. Just uh, was talking to Neil. Talking can be used very loosely in this situation because I was talking, he was listening, and he did not respond. He's literally spent the entire day so far playing video games. Like, Neil, Nick left for school. He got in the shower. He got out of the shower. He plopped his butt down in a chair and started playing video games and played all day. I just don't understand and what I said to him was you know help me understand what are your goals what is it you want to do with your life like really like what do you want to accomplish with your life what do you want to do 
Because sitting around playing video games all day is not going to make you get there. And he just doesn't, doesn't respond. He turns into a mute and he doesn't... I don't know. I fear for him. I fear for his future. I fear for... Right now, the way he acts, I don't know that he's ever going to be able to live on his own. Because he flat out, like, refuses to act like an adult. Just refuses. whether to be sad or angry. I will say this, I'm pretty angry that I gotta go into work. I'm gonna bring my computer home tonight. We're gonna, I think, hook up the old router. Well, I'm gonna try to connect on the new router, then see if it works, then hook up to the old router and see if it works. If it works fine with the old router and not with the new router, That's a problem. So, anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you guys later. I'm home. Actually, I've been home for a while. It's about 8.30, uh, 8.20, 8.20. Uh, I'm about to film my husband does my voiceover. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I uh, haven't even got out my makeup to decide what I wanna do yet, but, uh, I want to film something. Um, I just don't know. But I'm going to uh, dig into my makeup over here in a minute and try to come up with a look. And I want it to be kind of surprising. Like I told John when I come downstairs that he's not even supposed to look at me because I want him to be totally surprised as I'm doing the makeup, like as he's watching the video. So we'll see. I'm sure he will. He's actually not feeling real well. He's a little tired. Um, so he's downstairs sitting in a chair watching TV with Nick and uh, his kidneys are bothering him. So I'm afraid he might end up with a uh, stone here soon because he's not taking care of himself. He had a, he had a stone a couple years ago, uh, four, four and a half years ago, somewhere in there. Um, yeah. So... He doesn't drink enough water. He knows he doesn't drink enough water. He should be drinking water, but he's not. Anyhow. Uh, I am going to go ahead and film this video, though. So I'm excited for that. I uh, just have to figure out what I'm going to do. But I wanted to say hello. We already ate dinner. We actually filmed three mukbangs tonight, too. So we just haven't been screwing around on it. I actually filmed... I'm um, not not three mukbangs. Three uh, videos for Epic Beauty... Or Omnizy Vegan. Ah! Can I get it straight? We filmed one mukbang and two taste test videos for Omni's Vegan. So we've been actually pretty busy since I got home because um, Neil works tomorrow. So we wanted to get those filmed tonight so that they'd be ready to go. Um, so it's all right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get filming. I'm probably going to wash my face before I come back on the vlog just in case John decides to watch the vlog because sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. And I never know when he's going to watch. So um, you probably will not get to see this look. <laughs> I probably will have to wash my face before I film anything more for the vlog. But, um, I was in a fantastic mood today until I had the problem with the computer. And, oh, that's an, an update. Um, I brought the computer home from work to try it again. And the new router that we got actually has two towers. So there's one in this room in the beauty room and then there's a secondary tower almost like a booster that's in our bedroom and what John did was he plugged the old router into the booster downstairs and I was able to connect and then I rebooted my system and I was still able to connect so fingers crossed I'm hoping that fixed the problem and Friday when I work from home which is the next time I'm working from home um, I'll be good to go so that's a bonus but 
on the flip side, I went to work today and I came home feeling like crap. So that is a major indicator that it's probably time to find something else. So anyway, I'm going to film here in a couple minutes and I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. All right, my video is filmed and my makeup is washed off because I didn't want my dearly beloved to see my makeup. I figured it would be more fun if it was a surprise for him when I when he uh, actually does the voiceover. So, face is gone. But, it is almost 10 o'clock. It took me that long to get everything done and um oh, here's my puppy dogs. Um, do I smell like peaches? I put peach lip balm on. So I'm sure my mouth smells like peaches. Mwah! Down. Is it cold outside, honey? Buttercup just went for a walk. Wednesday already went for a walk, so she doesn't have to go to walk her damn. Anyhow, it's almost 10 o'clock. It is time for bed. Yes, it is. It's time for bed for my girls, too, and my boys. And John's not feeling well. John's actually really not feeling well. Yes, honey. What's the matter? I smell like peaches. Anyhow, I got another zit. I should title this, I got another big zit. Maybe I'll get another thousands of views on it. But I'm not going to do that. Because I think that's kind of silly. Anyhow, here's my butter. My butter. Here's my baby. Yes, it's my baby. All right. That's it for the evening. I'm going to transfer my files from my SD card to my computer. The We actually filmed four videos tonight. Lots and lots of good stuff. So, anyhow, okay, come here. I'll grab you. Woo! I didn't want you to jump to the floor. She jumped out of my hands onto the floor. Um, but that's it for the evening. All right. What was I most thankful for today? I will say I'm thankful for people who want to talk to me. Pretty much I showed up at work and within 10 minutes of me showing up, I had somebody in my office to talk to me. And then about 10 minutes later, I had somebody else in my office to talk to me and they hung out for like 45 minutes. So I'm thankful that there are people who like me enough to come and talk to me. Even if they were just talking to me about work, we talked about work, we talked about non-work a little bit too, but um, it's nice to work somewhere that people actually like you, you know? Like people actually come seek me out to talk to me. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people, but like a couple of people and that's nice. It's really nice. So I'm thankful for my coworkers who like to talk to me. That's what I'm thankful for today. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> it makes the job bearable. Anyhow, I hope today was better than yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow.